So, uh, hey everybody, Dill here. I just wanted to talk for a few minutes about sobriety. And this video is no way like anti-alcohol, anti-drug, anti-party at all. Um, I encourage everyone to have a good time. Do as they please, but please be safe in your consumption of controlled substances and illicit materials. So anyway, uh, I just wanted to talk about this for a minute because uh, today, well, technically tomorrow marks one year since I quit drinking alcohol. And this is a major milestone for me. I tried for a really, really long time to quit drinking, uh, struggled for many, many years uh, until finally uh, I got really sick and the doctors basically gave me an ultimatum. They said, you can either keep drinking and partying and die or be in the hospital all the time and miss work and lose lots of money and get on disability and really f yourself up bad or you can quit. So I chose the latter. I chose to quit finally. Uh, and it's been about a year it's a, minus a day and uh, technically about four months into it I cheated. I, uh, I said a year ago tomorrow I said a day it was going to be one year and about four months into it I got drunk. I decided to go out drinking with some friends. I got really drunk. Uh, don't even remember coming home. I went to the CC club, blacked out, don't even know how I got in the house. Came in, woke up my roommate, upset her pretty bad. Um, and uh, yeah, since then I haven't drank, so it's been about eight months now since that happened. Uh, three days after that happened, uh, I ended up in the hospital with diverticulitis. I told you all about that in a previous video, in my er one of my earliest videos. Uh, or one of my earlier videos where I was sick. Uh, so yeah, I don't know, I just want to talk a few minutes about uh, my struggles with alcoholism and to maybe encourage people that struggle with alcoholism, that want to quit. Um, maybe I can serve as a testimonial, you know, or a success story for someone who has quit. I mean, it's been a year, but I feel pretty confident that I'm not going to drink anymore. Um, you know, I, uh, I rediscovered traveling and my thirst for travel and my thirst for making videos like this. When I was a kid, I made videos with a, I had a cam, camcorder, a VHS camcorder, I made videos, and now I'm just doing this. So I decided to get back into what I love, which is entertaining people, and I hope this entertains you, and I hope you find some value out of it. Anyway, I'm rambling. All right, sorry, where was I? I had to change camera's uh, angles because the lady that works here. You can't have selfie sticks. Everyone's against selfie sticks because they think you're going to use it as a weapon. So I don't like to call it a selfie stick. I like to call it a tripod. But anyway, can't use the selfie sticks. Anyway, so I moved to the thing on the floor. That's why I'm down here now. Anyway, where was I? Uh, yeah, so yeah, I got, I got started drinking at an early age, probably 17, 16, 17, experimenting. And then, you know, later on I moved to marijuana and um, alcohol was mainly my drug of choice. And yeah, so like, I don't know, when I drank, I was a binge drinker, you know, I couldn't have a beer. I couldn't go out and just have like a couple beers and go, you know, and have, go home and have a nice time. Like I would go out, I would try to have two beers. And then if I couldn't have more beers after two beers, I would get great anxiety about having more beers. And then when I was able to have as much as I could, I would just drink until I could literally not drink anymore. Um, I vomited all the time. I uh, was constantly burping. For those of you that know me, I was I'm notorious for puking. Uh, I was in some hardcore bands. I was usually naked. That's not really a thing. I would probably be naked now if I was playing in hardcore bands. Um, but yeah, I suffered a lot of injuries, a lot of setbacks over the years. Uh, shattered this elbow in a bicycle accident when I was drunk. I had a steel like, titanium plate in here with seven screws. I broke my shoulder. 
bicycling when I was blacked out. I've dislocated this elbow, blacked out. Uh, you know, I've got numerous cuts and bruises from running into barbed wire fences, climbing fences, cutting myself, uh, you name it. Uh, numerous ruined friendships and disappointed people, pissed off family members, uh, completely I've destroyed myself financially <laughs> from drinking. Uh, I'm trying to get, I'm starting to get back on my feet now. But yeah, man, it really wasn't worth it. Uh, after, you know, 20 something years of hard drinking and partying, I don't really have a lot to show for it other than some really funny stories. <laughs> and I, you know, that's fun. I enjoy telling them and some of them are really funny, but um, if I could go back and do it again, I'd probably would have drank a lot less and, or not drank at all. But uh, I don't know, I'm mainly making this video just to tell people that uh, do want to quit drinking, uh, that feel like they need help, that there is hope, and you can stop. Trust me, you can. If I can stop, you can stop. Um, you know, uh, but it's hard, you know. You're, you're, you're gonna have to find the right people to find support from. I'm not an AA guy. I went to AA, I went to 12 Steps. I did 12 Steps of Zen. I did all that stuff. I gotta cut off here again. Let's Okay, hopefully nobody comes back. <laughs> hopefully I can finish this before someone else comes. Okay, anyway, so I was talking about uh, addiction, uh, quitting. Uh, having a support system is very important. Um, I think probably one of the hardest things that's, I would say the hardest thing for me that's happened since I've quit drinking is I've really had to disassociate myself from a lot of people that I used to hang out with. And that doesn't mean that I dislike them in any way or anything, you know, I just don't. But my suggestion is to, you know, not cut those people out of your life, but definitely if you're thinking about quitting drinking or taking a break from drinking, you're gonna need that distance from those people that are gonna, you know, be a trigger for you wanting to drink more. Um, and I would suggest surrounding yourself with, you know, friends that are doing things positive, that are sober, that don't, that maybe do drink more responsibly than your other friends that can go out and just have like a beer and then call it a night, you know. Um, that's been really hard. Uh, and I've, you know, I don't go to punk shows as much as I used to, but that's another reason altogether too. I and mean, there's other reasons for that. But, you know, I, you know, my social life is really, kind of diminished a lot since I quit drinking. Um, but I'm okay with that. I, I feel better, you know, I'm, I'm happier. I'm, I'm not upset and depressed all the time. Now I like feel feelings. Um, you know, when I'm sad, I'm sad because like, it's for a reason, you know, because I f something up or something's f up in my life. You know, I'm sad about that. I don't wake up and I'm just, filled with misery and dread for like no reason at all. It's just because, you know, I'm hung over, you know, or had been drinking, you know, and it affects you, whether you, you know, alcohol affects your mood, you know, whether you think so or not, you know, like one beer or like 20 beers, you know, you know, one drink versus 20 drinks, like it's going to affect your mood and how you feel. And especially if you're depressed, you know, it's not something, you know, maybe you should look into, you know, maybe curbing that a bit, you know, for your own mental health and well-being. Uh, but yeah, it's been hard. It's been tough. It's been tough. Um, but I feel confident. I don't feel, I don't really miss drinking. Uh, sometimes I miss, like, the taste of a beer in certain situations. You know, like, when I'm on a beach or something or on vacation or out for a nice dinner, you know, it'd be nice to have a beer. But I tried that. 
I tried it like 50 f- times and I couldn't do it. So I had to make a choice. I had to quit. And you have to make a choice. You have to decide. There is no, oh, I'll do it next week. Or, you know, just after my birthday's over or whatever, you know, like you have to make a choice, you know. I'm either gonna have this in my life or I'm not gonna have it in my life. And I've chosen not to have it in my life anymore because and I'm better for it. And I feel better. I feel stronger. My 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 ligaments, my muscles feel better. I've been going to yoga too, but like like I'm hydrated, I'm flexible, I don't roll out of bed and I'm like, ugh, I wanna die, you know? I don't stand up and I'm like, ugh. You know, like, I, I feel good, you know, I'm flexible, I'm hydrated, I have vitamins in me, I'm not just eating bagels, you know, and, you know, potato chips and pizza, like I was. That's also another thing, diet, good diet too. High fiber. Um, but anyway, you know, that's really all I want to say, I didn't really want to preach too much, just want to add a few insights there. Um, from my experiences, quitting drinking, um, you know, and if you, you know, if you have questions about any of this, feel free to, you know, write something in the comments section or comment about this. Like, you can even message me directly if you're one of my personal friends. Like, feel free to reach out to me if you need help or need advice or like, you know, need someone to go to a meeting with or something. You know, I don't do meetings, but if you need someone to go with, you know, and support you, like, I can do that for you. Um, but anyway, I don't know. It's the day after Christmas. Hopefully you all had a happy holiday. Um, I'm doing all right. Um, I'm in this yellow room. What a perfect place to do a vlog about beer and alcoholism in a beer colored room. So anyway, we're at the Dowling studio at the Guthrie, Guthrie Theater. Uh, I wish you all peace, a happy new year, and long life. Cheers. Keep the faith, and of course, always. Cheers. Hey, uh, one more thing. I'm going to uh, post some links down in the comments section uh, for just some, like local links or like some resources you can check out if you want to try and quit drinking. And there's also stuff to reduce how much you drink. So harm reduction, uh, 12 steps is in. I tried that. It's all right. It's kind of hippie, but you know, it's no, no Jesus stuff. And then uh, Children of Chaos. It's like the kind of punk rock, heavy metal AA group for some people. I went, wasn't for me, but it might be for you. So uh, I'm going to post the link down there. Don't forget to throw a like and a comment. And uh, please subscribe if you already have not. Cheers and thanks for watching. Party punks!